now uh, we will solve the problem 5.16 of uh, Griffith uh, fourth edition introduction to uh, electrodynamics. The problem 5.16 is two long coaxial uh, solenoid each carries current I but opposite in direction as shown in figure. The inner solenoid uh, radius A has N1 turns per unit length. That is uh, this inner solenoid, uh, radius of inner solenoid is A and number of turn is N1. You have number of turn N1. Uh, then uh, the other one, that is the outer one, is radius P has N2 turns. So, so this outer one is having a radius P and the number of turn per unit length is N2. This is the problem. Now find the uh, magnetic field in each three region that is inside and uh, inside the inner solenoid. Uh, second one is between them and the third one is outside both. Now you apply the uh, plumbing right hand rule for both solenoid. For inner solenoid, you can see the current, direction of the current is upwards. So the magnetic field is a counterclockwise direction like this. So it will flow like this. Uh, so due to inner, uh, uh, inner uh, solenoid, this current flows to the negative Z direction. So uh, because it's uh, counterclockwise, let us say this is z direction so naturally it is minus z direction this is for inner inner solenoid similarly for outer solenoid current is downwards so naturally uh, the uh, direction of the magnetic field is uh, the positive z direction so i will use different color so this is uh, positive z direction Z direction positive, uh, but uh, this is for outer uh, solenoid, outside solenoid. So outside solenoid, uh, it is a uh, uh, positive x axis. So now you can uh, solve these three things. That is, first one is inside inner solenoid. Uh, that is inside inner solenoid is uh, there is a contribution between both the solenoid. Due to the outer solenoid, it is mu naught from this formula. Uh, that is, uh, magnetic field due to solenoid is uh, equal to mu naught i n. So, if you use this general formula, you will get mu naught i uh, n two because here number of turn is n two for outer solenoid. Uh, uh, outer solenoid is positive z direction. So, I have I include a z cat. Plus the inner solenoid. Inner solenoid, you have a number of turns is N1. So mu naught I N1. But remember that it is along negative Z direction. So I have used minus Z cat. So if you add both, this minus will come here. So mu naught I N2 minus N1 Z cat. This is inside the uh, inner solenoid. Uh, what about between them, between them, uh, you will have a contribution only from the outer uh, solenoid. That is, P is equal to mu naught i n2. This is positive z direction. So I have mentioned just z cat. What about uh, outer, uh, outer uh, outside both the uh, solenoid? This outside, if you take uh, amperian loop. Uh, you are not supposed to include that the, both the solenoid, so it's uh, outside. Uh, the, uh, 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 along this uh, Amperian loop, the current enclosed is zero, so naturally the magnetic field will be zero. Uh, so this is the answer for all th three questions. Thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.